Hello and good morning, madam. My name is Dara Alanor de Balisoro, a student nurse from 1BS and 2, and here is my performance pass for the final period in the subject of Microbiology and Parasitology Lab. The Strict Plate Test The strict plate technique is a popular methodology for isolating a pure culture from a mixture wherein the bacteria are thinned out by striking the inoculum across the outer surface of the plate. Specifically, I will be discussing the procedures in performing the strict plate technique. First, we are going to sterilize the loop in the flame and allow it to cool. Sterilizing the inoculating loop will allow us to asapically transfer the microorganisms. In this way, all contaminants on the wire are incinerated. Aside from that, we will not lay the loop down once it is sterilized because it may become contaminated again if we do so. Additionally, we must allow the loop to cool a few seconds before contacting the inoculum so that we can avoid killing the microorganisms we are going to isolate. All of these are aseptic techniques that we follow to ensure an isolated colony and a successful experiment. Second step, pick an isolated colony from the other plate and spread it over approximately one-fourth of the plate using close, parallel, and light streaks. Also, we must check if the surface of the plate has droplets of condensed moisture because this can affect the accuracy of our experiment. So, the plate has no condensed moisture. We are also going to avoid contact with the edge of the plate because this can introduce contaminants to the agar. Third step, we are going to flame and cool the loop again. Fourth step, we will turn the plate 90 degrees and lightly sweep the loop one to two times through the inoculated area, then streak into the next quadrant without overlapping previous streaks. Fifth, we are going to flame and cool the loop again. Sixth, we will repeat step number four, but now we are going to streak into the third quadrant of the plate. Seven, we are going to flame and cool the loop again. Eight, we will repeat step number six, but we are going to strip the remainder of the plate. Last step. We are going to incubate the plate under appropriate conditions, specifically at a temperature of 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Here is the result of the experiment. In conclusion, the virtual experiment was successful because we were able to properly isolate the colony using only a small amount of inoculum, we streaked lightly and we did not gouge the agar, we flamed the loop after streaking each quadrant, and we made sure that the surface of the plate was free of droplets of condensed moisture. Aside from that, the colonies also had or have the same general appearance, proving that we were able to obtain a pure culture. 
Lastly, we were able to properly thin out the bacteria because, as we can observe, the bacteria was the thickest in the first quadrant and the thinnest here in the fourth quadrant. That ends my video and thank you so much for watching.